Hello guys, today we are going to look at NF tables. One of the most sought after confusions in the Linux networking world is to choose between IP tables or NF tables. In this video we are going to look at NF tables, for what it means, why we do need to understand it, how it is different from the IP tables, configurations etc. We will learn NF tables in a nutshell. Let us get started. What is NF tables? NF tables is the modern Linux kernel packet classification framework. New code should use it instead of the legacy IP, IPv6, ARP and EB tables infrastructure. It is available in Linux kernels greater than equals 3.13. It comes with a new command line utility NFT whose syntax is different to IP tables. It also comes with a compatibility layer that allows you to run IP tables commands over the new NF tables kernel framework. It provides a generic set infrastructure that allows you to construct maps and concatenations. You can use these new structures to arrange your rule set in a multidimensional tree which drastically reduces the number of rules that need to be inspected until reaching the final action on a packet. Why NF tables? We like IP tables after all. This tool has been serving us and will likely keep serving still for a while in many deployments to filter out traffic on both per packet and per flow basis, log suspicious traffic activity, perform NAT and many other things. It comes with more than a hundred of extensions that have been contributed along the last 15 years. Nevertheless, the IP tables framework suffers from limitations that cannot be easily worked around. Avoid code duplication and inconsistencies, many of the IP tables extensions are protocol specific, so there is no a consolidated way to match packet fields, instead we have one extension for each protocol that it supports. This bloats the codebase with very similar code to perform a similar task, payload matching. Faster packet classification through enhanced generic set and map infrastructure. Simplified dual-stack IPv4, IPv6 administration, through the new INET family that allows you to register base chains that see both IPv4 and IPv6 traffic. Better dynamic rule set updates support. Provide a Netlink API for third-party applications, just as other Linux networking and Netfilter subsystem do. Address syntax inconsistencies and provide nicer and more compact syntax. Main differences with IP table. NF tables uses a new syntax. The IP tables command line tool uses a get op long based parser where keys are always preceded by double minus, for example minus minus key or one single minus like minus ptcp. In contrast, NF tables uses a compact syntax inspired by TCP dump. Tables and chains are fully configurable. IP tables has multiple predefined tables and base chains, all of which are registered even if you only need one of them. There have been reports of even unused base chains harming performance. With NF tables there are no predefined tables or chains. Each table is explicitly defined, and contains only the objects, chains, sets, maps, flow tables and stateful objects that you explicitly add to it. Now you register only the base chains that you need. You choose table and chain names and netfilter hook priorities that efficiently implement your specific packet processing pipeline. A single NF tables rule can take multiple actions. Instead of the matches and single target action used in IP tables, an NF tables rule consists of zero or more expressions followed by one or more statements. Each expression tests whether a packet matches a specific payload field or packet flow metadata. Multiple expressions are linearly evaluated from left to right. If the first expression matches, then the next expression is evaluated and so on. If we reach the final expression, then the packet matches all of the expressions in the rule and the rule statements are executed. Each statement takes an action, such as setting the net filter mark, counting the packet, logging the packet, or rendering a verdict such as accepting or dropping the packet or jumping to another chain. As with expressions, multiple statements are linearly evaluated from left to right. A single rule can take multiple actions by using multiple statements. Built-in counter per chain and rule. 
In NF tables counters are optional, you can enable them as needed. Better support for dynamic ruleset updates. In contrast to the monolithic blob used by IP tables, NF tables rulesets are represented internally in a linked list. Now adding or deleting a rule leaves the rest of the ruleset untouched, simplifying maintenance of internal state information. Simplified dual stack IPv4, IPv6 administration. The NF tables INET family allows you to register base chains that see both IPv4 and IPv6 traffic. It is no longer necessary to rely on scripts to duplicate your rule set. New generic set infrastructure. This infrastructure integrates tightly into the NF tables core and allows advanced configurations such as maps, verdict maps and intervals to achieve performance-oriented packet classification. The most important thing is that you can use any supported selector to classify traffic. Support for concatenations. Since Linux kernel 4.1, you can concatenate several keys and combine them with maps and verdict maps. The idea is to build a tuple whose values are hashed to obtain the action to be performed nearly O of 1. Support new protocols without a kernel upgrade. Kernel upgrades can be a time-consuming and daunting task, especially if you have to maintain more than a single firewall in your network. Distribution kernels usually lag the newest release. With the new NF tables virtual machine approach, supporting a new protocol will often not require a new kernel, just a relatively simple NFT user space software update. Configuring tables. Tables are the top level containers within an NF tables rule set. They hold chains, sets, maps, flow tables, and stateful objects. Each table belongs to exactly one family. So your rule set requires at least one table for each family you want to filter. Following are some basic operations and commands for configuring tables. Adding tables. The command line for adding tables is NFT add table IP filter. This will add an IP filter table. Show list tables. The command line for show list tables is NFT list tables. This will list all the tables. Deleting tables. The command line for deleting tables is NFT delete table IP foo. This will delete the IP filter table foo. Flushing tables. The command line for flushing the tables is NFT flush tables IP filter. This will flush all the tables. Configuring chains. As in IP tables, with NF tables you attach your rules to chains. Unlike in IP tables, there are no predefined chains like input, output, etc. Instead, to filter packets at a particular processing step, you explicitly create a base chain with name of your choosing and attach it to the appropriate netfilter hook. This allows very flexible configurations without slowing netfilter down with built-in chains not needed by your rule set. Adding base chains. Base chains are those that are registered into the netfilter hooks, that is these chains see packets flowing through your Linux TCP IP stack. The syntax to add a base chain is NFT add chain family table name chain underscore name type type hook hook priority value policy policy comment text comment. The following example shows how to add a new base chain input to the foo table which must have been previously created. NFT add chain IP foo input type filter hook input priority 0. Base chain types. The possible chain types are. Filter, which is used to filter packets. This is supported by the ARP, Bridge, IP, IPv6 and INET table families. Root, which is used to reroute packets if any relevant IP header field or the packet mark is modified. If you are familiar with IP tables, this chain type provides equivalent semantics to the mangle table but only for the output hook. For other hooks use type filter instead. This is supported by the IP, IPv6 and INET table families. NAT, which is used to perform networking address translation. Only the first packet of a given flow hits this chain, subsequent packets bypass it. Therefore, never use this chain for filtering. 
The NAT chain type is supported by the IP, IPv6 and INET table families. Base chain hooks. The possible hooks that you can use when you configure your base chain are Ingress. Only in NetDev family since Linux kernel 4.2, and INET family since Linux kernel 5.10 sees packets immediately after they are passed up from the NIC driver, before even pre-routing. So you have an alternative to TC. Pre-routing. Sees all incoming packets, before any routing decision has been made. Packets may be addressed to the local or remote systems. Input. Sees incoming packets that are addressed to and have now been routed to the local system and processes running there. Forward. Sees incoming packets that are not addressed to the local system. Output. Sees packets that originated from processes in the local machine. Post routing. Sees all packets after routing, just before they leave the local system. Base chain priority. Each NF table's base chain is assigned a priority that defines its ordering among other base chains, flow tables, and net filter internal operations at the same hook. For example, a chain on the prerouting hook with priority minus 300 will be placed before connection tracking operations. The following rule set demonstrates this potentially surprising distinction in behavior. If the priority of the input chain above were to be changed to minus 1, the only difference would be that no packets have the opportunity to enter the services chain. Either way, this rule set will result in all ingress packets being dropped. In summary, packets will traverse all of the chains within the scope of a given hook until they are either dropped or no more base chains exist. An accept verdict is only guaranteed to be final in the case that there is no later chain bearing the same type of hook as the chain that the packet originally entered. Base chain policy. This is the default verdict that will be applied to packets reaching the end of the chain, that is no more rules to be evaluated against. Currently there are two policies, accept which is default or drop. The accept verdict means that the packet will keep traversing the network stack by default. The drop verdict means that the packet is discarded if the packet reaches the end of the base chain. Note, if no policy is explicitly selected, the default policy accept will be used. Adding regular chains. You can also create regular chains, analogous to IP tables user defined chains. NFT add chain family table name chain name policy policy comment text comment about this chain. The chain name is an arbitrary string with arbitrary case. Note that no hook keyword is included when adding a regular chain. Because it is not attached to a net filter hook by itself a regular chain does not see any traffic. But one or more base chains can include rules that jump or go to this chain, following which, the regular chain processes packets in exactly the same way as the calling base chain. It can be very useful to arrange your rule set into a tree of base and regular chains by using the jump and or go to actions. Deleting chains. You can delete chains as NFT delete chain family table name chain name. The only condition is that the chain you want to delete needs to be empty, otherwise the kernel will complain that the chain is still in use. You will have to flush the rule set in that chain before you can remove the chain. Flushing chains. To flush that is to delete all of the rules in the chain input of the foo table. NFT flush chain foo input. Simple rule management. Rules take action on network packets based on whether they match specified criteria. Each rule consists of zero or more expressions followed by one or more statements. Each expression tests whether a packet matches a specific payload field or packet flow metadata. Multiple expressions are linearly evaluated from left to right. If the first expression matches, then the next expression is evaluated and so on. If we reach the final expression, then the packet matches all of the expressions in the rule, and the rule's statements are executed. Each statement takes an action, such as setting the net filter mark, counting the packet, logging the packet, or rendering a verdict such as accepting or dropping the packet or jumping to another chain. 
As with expressions, multiple statements are linearly evaluated from left to right. A single rule can take multiple actions by using multiple statements. Do note that a verdict statement by its nature ends the rule. Following are some basic operations and commands for configuring rules. Appending new rules to add new rules, you have to specify the corresponding table and the chain that you want to use. NFT add rule filter output if DADDR 8.8.8.8 counter. Where filter is the table and output is the chain. The example above adds a rule to match all packets seen by the output chain whose destination is 8.8.8.8, in case of matching it updates the rule counters. Note that counters are optional in NF tables. For those familiar with IP tables, the rule of pending is equivalent to a command in IP tables. Listing rules. You can list the rules that are contained by a table with the following command. NFT list table filter. There are plenty of output text modifiers that can be used when listing your rules to, for example, translate IP addresses to DNS names, TCP protocols, etc. Testing your rule. Let's test this rule with a simple ping to 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Adding a rule at a given position. If you want to add a rule at a given position, you have to use the handle as reference. If you want to add a rule after the rule with handler number 8, you have to type. NFT add rule filter output position 8 if DADDR 127.0.0.8 drop. Removing rules. You have to obtain the handle to delete a rule via the option. The handle is automatically assigned by the kernel and it uniquely identifies the rule. You can delete the rule whose handle is 5 with the following command. NFT delete rule filter output handle 5. Removing all the rules in a chain. You can delete all the rules in a chain with the following command. NFT flush chain filter output. You can also delete all the rules in a table with the following command. NFT flush table filter. Prepending new rules. To prepend new rules through the insert command. NFT insert rule filter output if DADDR 192.168.1.1 counter. This prepends a rule that will update per rule packet and bytes counters for traffic addressed to 192.168.1.1. The equivalent in IP tables is IP tables I output T filter D 192.168.1.1 Replacing rules You can replace any rule via the replace command by indicating the rule handle, which you have to find by first listing the rule set with option A. To replace the rule with handle 2, specify its handle number and the new rule that you want to replace it. NFT replace rule filter input handle to counter. Some other things about NF tables. Atomic rule replacement. Error reporting from the command line. Building rules through expressions. Operations at rule set level. Monitoring rule set updates. Scripting. Rule set debug tracing. Output text modifiers. Expressions, matching packets. Statements, acting on packet matches. Advanced data structures for performance packet classification. I am worried that video would get too long if I go into details of each of these. I am kind of wrapping up here. Thank you for watching the video. I will soon come with a new video. Until then it is goodbye from my side.